Well, the symptoms of CTE um, most often begin years after someone has stopped playing their sport. So the greatest number of individuals that are symptomatic from CTE in our experience have been people that became symptomatic in their 40s and their 50s and their 60s. That having been said, we have individuals that have become symptomatic at a very much younger age. Don't know how it's going to play out long term, but in looking at a group of 38 pure CTE individuals alone, we seem to be seeing a difference between those that get symptoms younger than those that get it later. The group that gets the symptoms younger seem to have the behavioral and mood symptoms predominate and seem to have the cognitive symptoms not as prominent and not be the first to occur. Whereas the group that has symptoms occurring later in life, in 60s, 70s, seems to have uh, more commonly the cognitive symptoms be more predominant and the mood and behavioral symptoms not be as predominant. And that group that uh, has the cognitive symptoms predominant and is the older age group at onset uh, tends to go on to dementia. Well, we've seen chronic traumatic encephalopathy in a number of football players at the college level. Um, not as many uh, as we've seen at the National Football League level, but we've also seen it in six players at the high school age level. So we know that in susceptible individuals that have had a lot of brain trauma, that you can have early CTE even at the age of 17 or 18. Yes, Owen Thomas, who was a co-captain of the University of Pennsylvania, at the age of 21 committed suicide and when his brain was studied, uh, chronic traumatic encephalopathy was documented.